Hey everyone, it's General Hand Grenade. Welcome to my war room in Prince George, British Columbia. Operation Hindenburg still. And it is the getting near the end of 1917. So we're in the fall winter and this is the American slash Chinese turn. Uh, first things first, technology. Um, so we are going for defense in depth depth charges and hydrophones, convoy system, and strategic bombers in that order. And you can see the order over here and the number that I need to get. Here we go. Uh, look at that, got them all. <laughs> the one that was a six was, yeah, nice roll. Nice, nice, good start. Okay, so defense and depth goes to stage one. Convoy system goes to stage three. Strategic bomber goes to stage one. And depth charges and hydrophones goes to stage one. So I've got a free diplomacy roll. Plus, I'm going to purchase one. And they got to both be at two because they're already started up. Uh, I think both of them are going towards Germany. Yeah. So I'm going to go for the Netherlands and Peru. Uh, the Netherlands will be the brown one. Peru will be the purple one. Need a two or less. And misses. Alrighty. Let's go to the board. Uh, one thing, I lost $4 because I forgot to, to deduct the amount for um, not garrisoning this place, this place, and this place. Plus the term before I hadn't gar garrisoned this place. So that's a total of four. I'm going to need to make sure that I garrison them before the end of this turn, or I won't collect that again. Uh, combat moves, I guess there's only one. And it's, surprise, surprise, that goddamn cruiser raider. So I, I, I've got myself a brand new ship down here, and he's going to see what he can do. Uh, it's a torpedo boat, and two more torpedo boats coming from A-44, as well as two cruisers from A-44. So that's five boats in total, like we had last time. And he managed to hit one of them. <laughs> Bastard. And that's it. That's my only attack. So that's three at, or sorry, two at three, and three at one. All right. And cruisers. Cruisers are always yellow. Here we go. Here, let's throw his in there too. His is gray. All right. No hits, nothing. So the cruiser raider is going to escape. Tim will have to let us know where he wants those located. All right. Now a bunch of non-combat moves. I couldn't help but notice that one of the random events that is coming up is going to have something to do with Mexico going to the Germans. So I'm going to have to make sure that I put some people in place for that because Mexico goes before, as you know, here, let's move this over here. Mexico goes before the Americans. Put it up. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to go to the other side. I think I can reach stuff better from over there. All right. Maybe we should move these guys first. So we're going to rail four guys here. One, two, three, four. Actually, let's just rail three of them. Yeah, three guys, two southern France. Probably off camera over here, but there was already six American infantry in southern France. So this is going to make nine. I tell you, I don't have very very good luck with these chips. Um, they, they look good once they're put together and everything, but man, they sure slide around a lot on me. And then also I'm going to bring the artillery over because I have improved logistics and I'm going to boost my rail up. Okay, there's that. Now these guys are just going to simply move. That's two artillery, two infantry, and then the two 
cavalry are going to go 1, 2 into Aquitaine as well. My equestrians are going to Aquitaine. I'm not sure if these guys are still here. Probably not, the British guys. Uh, and then these two guys here are going to walk up to uh, the next place there. And then we're going to take uh, all four destroyers ba or transports back and move two up. So I'll just move two of them over here and bring up two transports full of things. So there's a horse, two dudes, and an artillery. Now, uh, geez, I don't know if you can see me there. So let's just move this up as much as I can. So in the United States there, I might as well, these militia aren't doing me any good anywhere. So I'm going to rail three. I think my capacity is three over here. So I'm going to rail the guy from up here, the guy from here, and the guy from, um, I see the guy from here is going to go to the west coast. I'll show you where I'm putting him. Okay, let's just finish over here first though. Um, we're going to move this guy up here, and this guy over here, and this guy over here, and then, let's see, yep, just got to make sure these guys got manpower icons. Okay, and then I'm going to leave the two artillery and the U.S. Marine in Chile. Um, you know what, let's move this boat up here. So that's one, two, and I'll leave those other American boats right there. Now, as far as this guy over here, we're going to, he's right here. I'm going to put him down here in the Southwest United States, just in case those guys have designs. If the Germans were to be able to get in Mexico. They could, uh, they could always gallop over here to Western Mexico and then up, right? So I got to make sure to cover both areas in case that happens. Uh, okay, so what I purchased was this. Um, three infantry altogether for the United States, an artillery, uh, cavalry, and two colonial infantry. Uh, we purchased an infantry for the the Italians, an artillery for the white army. And then over here on the build queue, we've got five dreadnoughts. So we've got one coming to stage two and three, four coming to stage three on the build queue. And then we've got this thing here, uh, last stage, so it's a Lend-Lease cruiser. And he out pops the British guy. So he decided he's going to be British. So all of this stuff is going on. Okay. Let's just, uh, here, let's take the colonial infantry and this guy over. Okay. So the Italian guy goes down. And over here. We've got here and here. So now everything is garrisoned in South America. Okay. And then, here, we'll just put that up there like that. Uh, grab all my stuff over here. Okay, so we're going to put one of the infantry in Texas and then the cavalry, two infantry, and an artillery going up north. Um, cash and carry now. We've got uh, French. He's going to go to southern France. And we've got the Italian, he's going to go to Northern Italy. Okay. Um, and he can go to Northern Italy, even though the Americans sent the infantry over, because that's not actually Lend-Lease, even though you're using the Lend-Lease process. Okay, so I guess the last thing to go on would be 
the white artillery, and of course it's going to Primorsky Cry. That's where the Americans put their stuff, right? Um, and the Americans, on this uh, past Russian turn, there was a card. So the Americans moved this guy here from Chile. That's where he came from. There was a second infantry came from Chile, and they just put this artillery on. So this is quite the battle shaping up over here. A couple of whites, a couple of Americans, and oh, this guy moved up here from Japan as well. We have to have the same number of units, the Americans and the Japanese. So that's why he moved up here, because the Americans had uh, moved a, another one in. And so the Japanese were bound to have to do that, right? Okay, so that's it for the American turn. And China. Well, here we are. All right. Not much left. There's, uh, there's some guys in Tibet, and that's it. That's the only guys I have left to fight. There's another territory up there, Xinjiang, but uh, you know, that's just a walk on. Unless, <laughs> who knows what's gonna happen with the cards, right? Okay, let's shuffle the deck. The deck that's getting low. Here we go. Uh -huh. Okay, good enough. All right. Yunnan, add one cavalry, okay? The cavalry. So he's in mountains and there's two militia there. So the cavalry is gonna be white and the two militia are gonna be yellow and everybody's rolling at a two. And we have to go till it's over. Uh, missed. And a miss. And a miss. This could last well into the night. And a miss. <laughs> and another miss. And another miss. <laughs> you guys just go have a coffee. Come back later. I'll let you know who's about to win. <laughs> look at that there's two hits okay so uh they each lost one that means it's a good thing i had a second militia there um so that means there's only one militia in yunnan now and that event is over okay so next card and what do we got here on we add one infantry to any territory okay the on we territories are the kind of purplish looking ones up there so we've got one infantry, we've got one militia in a city, and we've got one artillery over there, and he's got one infantry. Uh, I guess the militia would be the easiest, wouldn't he? Because he's defending at three in a city, and uh, attacking that artillery is the worst because you're, for one, you're attacking into a mountain. So let's go for that city there. Let's go for Peking. And it'll be an infantry versus a militia. All righty. So the infantry is going to be the white one. The militia is going to be the yellow one. And the militia is three. The infantry is two. Okay. And the infantry wins. There you go. Okay. So... I got somebody else to fight now. Put him up, put him up. Okay, so this guy comes off, and the pie comes off, and the dollars go down. Wow, look at you guys, acting all tough and everything. Okay, there we go. Okay, and last card. There we go. Last card, Feng Xian, add one artillery to any territory. Wow, you got three good cards this time. Okay, uh, that's the tan colored territories up there. So there's infantry, militia, and then infantry and artillery. So let's go for this militia here. And where's the roundel? 
that looks like no ter no terrain okay so we're um, artillery is got first strike and he's at four might as well just stick with these dice so the white dice is at four and the yellow dice is at two if if the, the white doesn't hit uh, missed oh jeez, look at that I could have been a contender okay well they, they got belligerent on me though didn't they so the artillery lost his fight there all right um eight dollars what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna buy two infantry and one militia let's make this real simple this guy's going can you see up there here we can get in closer than that can't we okay this guy is going to go up here and all of these guys are coming down into here Whoa, two four six infantry all right um, and two mountain and two artillery and two horses and one militia uh, oh and then we get this guy over here don't we look at you okay this guy and the artillery and you know what might as well just go with everybody here there we go okay uh, yeah that's what we're doing okay um, okay. so the defender two mountain at five Cavalry at two, militia at two, the infantry. Now this is going into mountains. The infantry is going to be at one, mountains at two, artillery at three, cavalry at two, militia at one. Okay, here, let's just take a look over here. Okay, these are the defenders down here. And so these get to boost too. Let's boost the two mountain, okay? So the two mountain are gonna be at three. So that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at one altogether. Oh, I gotta roll them separately though because of the retreat stuff. The retreat stuff it's only one round too because it's winter time right okay so let's do two artillery at three uh two misses too bad uh no no running away though um not that it matters because they're going back to that territory anyway probably right um and then seven at one two three four five Six plus a yellow dice makes seven. Make sure two, four, yep. All at one, so no, but I did have two retreats. Let's just put these out here. Okay, I'm not gonna take them out of there anyway, I don't think. So uh, yeah, I'd have to hit everything from now on. So those guys are all moving out anyway. Um, uh, two. Cavalry and two mountain infantry. So the cavalry are going to be the green ones uh, They're at two and the mountain infantry are at three And nothing Wow Except a couple of retreats, but again doesn't matter because I'm I have to leave anyway so they've got one militia and uh, one horse and Two mountain infantry. Uh, one hit, two hits. All right. So I will lose a militia and an infantry. Here. Let's get that 
take it out. So these guys lost nothing. I was just getting this guy out of the box here. <laughs> Didn't want to stand there anyway. And these are my casualties. Okay. So these guys go back to Tibet. And they're saying, you know, all we want to do is for you to leave us alone. Just leave us alone. <laughs> um, so let's take all of these guys back to Singhai. Except one, I think. One of them is going to go to Yunnan. Okay. Okay. And then the two horses, one of them to Singhai and the other one to Yunnan. And then these two, both of them to Singhai. And same with the mountain infantry, both to Singhai. So everybody but an infantry and a cavalry that went to Yunnan all went back there. Okay, now we got the other fight going into a city. Start off with the artillery. Miss. Oh, and he, wa and he ran away too. Okay. Let's remember that. And uh, so I got a militia and an infantry and a kicked up infantry. Let's do the kicked up infantry first. Missed. Militia and an infantry. So everybody ran away anyway, even though one of the infantry did. They're all going to run away. Uh, oh, but the, the guy does get to shoot back, doesn't he? He's a militia at three. No, he's an infantry at five. What was I thinking? It was the militia that he took it from, wasn't it? And he missed. Okay. All right. So let's go back here. And let's go back here back here okay and then I gotta put my crap on um, where's that stuff here okay let's see uh, let's put a militia there mm. Put an infantry here and um, you know what? I'm going to put this guy here and take this guy, and we're going to put that guy there. There we go. That's how it's going to work out. So then we only get seven bucks this time because I didn't get that city back. And if the game were to end right now, they would get that point instead of me. Huh. Can you imagine the nerve? All right, so um, I guess the, uh, the Ennui would get uh, a reprisal attack. I don't see him doing that though because he'd have to attack out of that city. The Tibetans don't get a reprisal attack because they don't leave Tibet. So they can't attack me, right? They, they can't leave. Um, oh, we forgot to put this uh, British cruiser on too. Forgot about that. So this goes right here in A22 at this major shipyard here. Glad I remembered that. Okay, now, the Americans also, incidentally, I forgot, will get their wartime economy roll. So five, that's not very good. Five plus 46 is 51. Uh, and I don't think any other diplomatic income 
looking around nope no more so 51 bucks okay I didn't save any so there's 41 and the Chinese they only get seven okay here we are we're moving the clock it's going to the spring of 1918 it's a brand new year I'm going to sing the old Lang Syne here we go spring of 1918 West Let's get the black one this time. And two. Okay. Severed ties. Bolivia, Peru, Uruguay, and Ecuador sever ties with Germany. Germany pays three IPP to the bank this turn only for lost trade. Ooh. See, there was uh, there was a few good ones for them too, and they had to get a bad one. Um, yeah, I don't think anything else happens, but, but Germany loses three IPPs. So take three IPPs out of Germany's bank, everyone. I uh, can't remember what they had, but uh, I think 45. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, next roll. Spring of 1918 East. Four. Japanese rice riots. That doesn't sound good. Japan pays three IPP to the bank. Each manpower in Japan, Japanese home country produces one turn less. And one fewer unit can be placed at a factory. Minimum of one. So that's not going to affect them at all except for the loss of three IPPs. Because they're really not placing anything there now. <laughs> if you... Haven't been following along. There's the new Japan. <laughs> Bulgarians are looking around. Where did these guys come from? <laughs> Can you imagine? You're Balkan and it's 1918. You wake up and look around and your government is Japanese. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess that's it for the random events then. So in, in the end, uh, Japan loses three bucks. Germany loses three bucks. And then we've got a couple of uh, automatic alignments. So the first one is Central America. That's this guy up here. That's going to go American, and that's not worth anything. It's got a militia, though. And then the other one is Liberia, and that really does mean nothing except for I need to have an extra pie just to put on there. Because I, there's nobody there, right? So I don't think there was a random event to put anybody there this game. And why would they? That would be totally random. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I think that's it. I think I got them all. The, uh, they weren't going to do anything in there because obviously the Russians would squash them if they did. Uh, the, the Americans, I mean. So I guess that's it, guys. Uh, let you go. So, oh, you know what? I didn't. Or did I? I didn't put my militia on, did I? For the Chinese, I just put the two infantry on. I think. You know what? I'm going to place this militia, and then when I watch the video back, if I did do it, then I'll have to take him off. But I will place him right here. Um, and then if I, I found it, I did place the militia, then I'll take him off. But I don't think I did. So, now I'm leaving. Take care, everyone. General Hand Grenade, out.